wouldn't miss for that. Hello, Connor. How about a race up to Ulfstead Castle? Oh, dear. A race? Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. Your arm, Caitlin. No! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Caitlin? <laughs> we'll see about that. Ooh. I'll never complain about Thomas again. Nor will I. If I ever get Annie and Clarabelle back, I'll never tease them again. Thomas puffed as fast as he could, but before he could get up to Elfstead Castle... Caitlin! Thomas! Annie! Clarabelle! Thomas! Caitlin was already on her way back, heading for the mainland. Thomas had to stop Caitlin before she went over the Vickerstown Bridge to the mainland. Oh, no! I'm too late. I'll never be able to catch up with Caitlin now. Hello, Thomas. Hello, hero. It's a good thing I've stopped Caitlin. She was taking your coaches away. Annie and Clarabelle, you brought them back. Thank you. Yes, thank you, hero. Thank you indeed. Oh, Annie and Clarabelle, Sorry I teased you. And we're sorry we complained about how fast you were going. We'll never do it again. Thomas wanted to go even faster, but he was so happy to have Annie and Clarabelle back, he just smiled. Although you are going a bit fast now. Much too fast, if you ask me. You're so right, Clarabelle. Much too fast. <laughs> I'm trying, Mr. Jones. I'm trying. Thomas was taking Sir Topham Hat and Dowager Hat to the mainland to go to the opera. I used to be quite the singer in my day. Would you like to hear me sing? Um, well, perhaps later. <laughs> me, my, moo. <coughs> Cinders and ashes. Whoa! Thomas, why have we stopped? Up ahead, sir. <laughs> Thomas, back up, back up! Thomas, look out! Percy! Oh, no! We're going to have a crash! <gasps> oh, no! Toad could see that Thomas and Percy didn't have enough time to reverse and clear the line. Toad knew he had to save them all now. He's going to his house! <laughs> Toad had done it. He'd stopped the coal cars just in time. Everyone was very relieved. <coughs> well done, Toad! Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Just <coughs> doing my job. Oh. 
Sorry, Thomas, I lost my cars on the hill. Is everyone all right? No, James, everyone is not all right. You have caused confusion and delay. I demand to know how this happened. Well, sir, the thing is, I was going to... Fast. It was a fallen branch on the line, sir. It was nobody's fault. It, it was an accident. Oh, accident, eh? Well, um... Sounds to me rather like this little brake van saved us all from disaster. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yes, I... <coughs> I suppose so. You are a really useful and very brave brake van. Quite right. Uh, well done, Toad. Carry on, carry on. The opera awaits. Oh. <laughs> yeah, call this a railway. Oh. Every day something goes wrong. So predictable. Seats uncomfortable. Trains are always late. Ah, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Duncan was trying to make up for lost time when he came across the workman once again. I can't be lit. I can't hear any more complaints. I can't seem to do anything right today. At the end of the journey, Mr. Percival was waiting for Duncan. Sir, I know what you're going to say, and I'm truly sorry. Thank you for saying so, Duncan. But why did you take Scarlowe's coaches and speed through the rail works and ignore the guard's whistle? Because of that grumpy passenger, sir. I was trying to stop him complaining. Duncan, I know that passenger well. He's always grumpy, and he always finds something to complain about. But today, you made everybody grumpy. Yes, sir. I, I know, sir. From now on, you must do your best to ignore that man and get on with doing your job properly. Will do. Thank you, sir. That evening, when Duncan passed the men working on the line, he decided to slow right down. I'm going to be late for my tea. Evening, Duncan. It's surprising to see you smiling at the end of a busy day. But I've had a good day, Reneas. Today, I learnt a very important lesson. I'm going to change my ways and be a different engine from now on. Just you wait and see. Really? You mean... You're going to stop grumbling once and for all? No, I mean I'm going to stop listening to that grumpy old passenger and just get on with being really useful. Good for you, Duncan. Good for you. All right, all right. I'm going. Stop grumbling, indeed. It's not me who's always grumbling. Ouch! Ah, there goes my wobbly wheel again. I knew this would happen. Why do people always think it's me who's always grumbling? I mean, I've never grumbled in my life. Me, grumbling, don't think so. 